Hello and welcome to week 13 of College Football Predictions. My name is Seidel and once again I'm going to be going over only the big games this week. So if you want to see the rest of my predictions for week 13, I'll have those posted in the comments so you can go check that out if you're interested. There were a couple upsets and a few blowouts last week. I think there could be a few good games this week so let's just get into it starting with the 15th ranked 6-2 Iowa State Cyclones taking on the 20th ranked 5-2 Texas Longhorns. Iowa State's coming off of a big win over Kansas State, 45-0. And Texas is coming off of a close win over West Virginia, 17-13. Iowa State's run game has been phenomenal this year, especially running back Brees Hall with almost 1,200 yards and 15 touchdowns on the year. And Texas' defense has struggled a bit this year, allowing 29 points and over 400 yards a game. Their offense has been great, though, averaging 40 points and over 430 yards a game. And QB Sam Ellinger being the main part of that offense with 22 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, over 1,800 yards passing. But he also leads their team in rushing with 323 yards and 7 touchdowns on the year. Iowa State's defense, however, has been pretty solid this year, only allowing 23 points and 333 yards a game on average. Uh, even though Texas' defense let up most of their yards through the air, I'm going to take Iowa State's run game and, and better defense in the upset over the Texas Longhorns, 28-25. to And now we have the number 2 ranked 8-0 Notre Dame Fighting Irish taking on the 6-2 25th ranked North Carolina Tar Heels. Notre Dame's coming off of a bit of a scare against Boston College, 45-31. And North Carolina's coming off of a shootout over Wake Forest, 59-53. Notre Dame's offense has been solid both rushing and passing the ball this year, averaging 37 points a game and over 460 yards on average a game, uh, 228 of those being passing and 233 of those yards being rushing. Their defense has also been really good, only allowing 16.6 points and a little over 300 yards a game. On the other hand, North Carolina's defense has struggled a lot, allowing 30 points and over 413 yards a game. Their offense has kind of made up for that, though, averaging 43 points and over 563 yards a game. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. I'm going to go with Notre Dame 34-24. to I think it's going to be a two-score uh, two win over North Carolina, 34-24. to And now we have the number one ranked 7-0 Alabama Crimson Tide taking on the 22-ranked 5-2 Auburn Tigers. Auburn's coming off of a win over Tennessee, 30-17, to and Alabama's coming off of a blowout win over Kentucky, 63-3. to Auburn's defense has been pretty solid, only allowing 22 points, but they have allowed 402 yards a game, and their, their offense has also been pretty good, uh, averaging 28 points, over 402 yards on average a game. Alabama's defense, however, has been much better, only allowing 19 points and a little under 360 yards a game. And their offense has been even better, almost averaging 50 points and, and over 548 yards a game. And QB Mac Jones with 18 touchdowns, 3 interceptions, almost 2,500 yards passing. I don't think this is going to be much of a close game. I'm going to go Alabama 42-21 to over the Auburn Tigers. And now we have the 12th ranked 4-1 Indiana Hoosers taking on the 2-1 Maryland Terrapins. Maryland has been on a two-week shutdown, and Indiana's, Indiana almost had a comeback upset win over Ohio State, but they ended up losing 42-35. Their offense has been really solid this year, though, averaging 34 points, over 388 yards a game. And their defense has also been good, only allowing 23 points, 378 yards on average a game. On the other hand, Maryland's defense has struggled a lot, allowing 35 points, over 474 yards a game. I do think their offense can be deadly, especially with Tega Vailoa getting better each each week. Uh, but I'm going to go with Indiana's defense in this one, 35-24 to over the Terrapins. And finally, we have 14th ranked 6-2 Oklahoma Sooners taking on the 5-3 West Virginia Mountaineers. Oklahoma's coming off of a blowout win over Oklahoma State, 41-13. And West Virginia is coming off of a win over TCU, 24-6. Oklahoma's offense has been explosive this year, averaging 45 points, over 512 yards a game. And QB Spencer Rattler with 22 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, over 2,300 yards passing, and also had over 300 yards and 4 touchdowns in their game against Oklahoma State. And their defense has also been better than better this year than it was last year, only allowing 23 points, 326 yards a game. The West, West Virginia Mountaineers defense has been a little bit better, only allowing 17 points, 
274 yards a game. Their offense has also been pretty solid, only allowing 29 points in or uh, averaging 29 points in over 442 yards a game. I'm going to go with Oklahoma's offense in this one though over West Virginia, uh, 31 to 21. I think it could be a two-score game. I'm going to go Oklahoma over West Virginia. Thank you for watching, and feel free to post your predictions in the comments below. And if you are interested in the rest of my predictions for Week 13, those will also be in the comments. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.